Hey guys, James here at TCG University, coming back at you with another deck profile, continuing our five-hander death match. Uh, today we're going to be doing Malin One Dot. Uh, Michael built this deck. I thought this was the coolest deck in the entire form in our entire bracket that was built. Uh, so uh, let's get into it. Okay, guys, Malin is a 534 with Order Void and Water. We're playing our deck under Void today. Uh, once per turn, as a form, discard X cards, draw X cards. E, check a four, reveal two cards from your hand. If the share, if the cards you revealed share the same name, this attack gets, this non-throw attack gets plus five damage. It's really cool. Now we're playing two of our other character, maybe then two dot. Um, e, your turn, reveal two foundations from your hand, draw a card. Draw more cards, basically. E, once per turn, reveal two attacks from your hand. This attack gets plus X damage or minus X damage, so it's very good defensively and offensively. Uh, it's not easy to get both of these on. Uh, we're playing gauge attacks, and here we go. But um, once you have both of these on, you can deal a lot of damage very, very easily, and you draw a lot of cards. Like, it was insane how many cards Michael was drawing with his deck. Uh, so let's get into it. We're going to... I don't really need them. Uh, we're playing the four. Here we go. Uh, basically, stack my lens as fast as possible to get the most value out of it. That's what the, the card says. Remove. Attach one character from your discard pile to your character. Or remove, add one character from your stage and from your discard pile to your hand. Uh, we can't play the other one without playing like an order chain. So we'll almost always just add for free. It also has a zero low block that has breaker too. Three revoke. Uh, nice, easy. Build fast. Cancel abilities. One spell circle. Four star pump to discard if we draw it. If not, it's free momentum for stuff. We're playing two Surpass Your Limits. Shout out to these guys. Uh, it has three abilities. Unique Weapon. It's a champ card. E, flip one foundation. This attack gets plus one or minus two damage. R, destroy. After you block your opponent's attack, their next check to play an attack gets minus X. X equals the printed block modifier of your block. This has a four, so if you have two of these, you block with this one. I have this one on board. You blow this one up and make them check minus four on the next one. It's just really, really good. And then E, once per turn, look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it. Uh, that's very useful for just dumping cards off the top of your deck that you don't want to draw with her abilities. Uh, on to the cool card about the deck and why I really enjoyed it. For Uh The new kin attack. It's a kick, multiple one, four, mid for six. That It's a six diff, but it says... If this attack deals damage, you draw X cards, and your opponent discards X of their momentum. Discard cards until the number of cards in your hand is equal to or less than your character's hand size. X equals the amount of damage this attack dealt. So, if this just without any damage punk deals damage, you draw six cards. Um, this says give it plus five damage. This says give it plus six damage. You can get a total of... 17 damage on your attacks on this stack. Meaning, if they don't block, you draw a total of 17 cards. That's overkill. But on half block, you draw 8. That's a little too much to win more, but drawing anything off of this card is just nuts. It's more free advantage off of Mei Lin. Um, it's just a card that you want, you know you have to deal with in this deck. And she makes everything else bigger, making you want to block those instead. Like, it's just... It's really rough when like half these attacks deal are dealing like ten damage a piece almost. And like she plays this on like a seven, adds a bunch of cards and builds or whatever. It just like it creates a lot of problems blocking for you. Uh, we're playing four black death. It's gauge five, so we can stack her character if we need to. It's a five minute for five. Gets stuff, gets all the stats from Maylin and whatnot. Uh, you can discard a card, draw a card. With one of its abilities, and the other one is discard momentum. Look at the top three cards of your deck and replace them in any order, meaning you know what you're going to play, you know what you're going to draw, stuff like that. It's just very, very strong. We're playing four homing missiles. Uh, just This just is really funny. Like This put in more work than any of his other attacks besides Kurzu Repa. Like, just having the ability to just destroy something, making your opponent burn for three was just really good. And it just being a three mid, just nuts. Uh, four rapid speed slash. Uh, draws you a card or adds you more momentum. Most of the time you'll draw in this deck. Uh, just having more cards in is just really, really good. 
It's a four low for four. Gets cool stats from Mei Lin, whatnot. Uh, four Affliction. Has gauge two. It's a four mid for two. Uh, you can discard a momentum to draw one card, then reveal the top card of your deck. And then a E Namor card, reveal the top card of your deck. If this the reveal card is a copy of the named card, you draw a card. Uh, that works really well with our asset. Because uh, you get to look at the top card of your deck and then you can discard it. It's an option. You may. So you choose not to and then you can just Affliction, add it to hand. Or if you have the momentum, you do it that way. You do it, draw, reveal, draw again. Just really, really cool. The hand advantage you get off of this character is very, very, very nuts. Uh, for protecting Yukina, uh, sometimes our attacks deal damage. And then sometimes we want to use those as multiple momentum to make sure our opponent's attacks don't deal damage. Uh, this basically... Discard momentum after you block this attack. It deals no damage. Four season guide to be able to look at the top card of your deck for Maylin's draw and whatnot. For three Fefe's. Uh, Nake speed so we can block defensively. Uh, a six check in Uniting Rebels. Desperation E, we gain a vitality. Um, I think it was I think it's very strong as a six check. Does a lot of work in that department as well as just being a cool spam to give us more foundations. Uh, three voice of reason uh, makes us makes gives us more discard and draw power. Super good. Clear cutter to make things harder to block. Harrison's lucky day to protect our foundations. Two face of a monster to make them discard a deadlock. Always have a speed debuff and to be able to change the zone of Kurzu Repa at Desperation, which is also very nuts. Uh, we're playing two World Without Battle. Uh, if we do get to play the multiple ability, we get to draw a card because of this, a Desperation, as well as it just being a speed buffer, speed hate. Giving three speed to your Kurzu Repa with this is just nuts. Uh, we're playing two Mushroom Experimentation. Very, very cool and good card. Uh, commit our character if we don't need it to draw two, discard two, or discard things with six checks to drop things to one damage. Uh, playing two, not over until you die, lets us stack attacks and draw with Mei Lin. Two, Whirlight. It's basically a, high, a cheaper high seas adventure with a block. One, Outworld's Errors to get rid of problem cards. One, Stronger Than All, destroy. This attack gets my, goes back to printed damage and gets minus one damage. Stops big, big, big attacks. And one Radical Edward to commit problem cards with unique keywords or keywords in general. Or if we check it, we get to pick up our characters. Thanks for checking out the profile, guys. If you enjoy the content, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let Michael know how much you enjoyed his Maylin one dot deck profile or deck. I did the profile because uh, we had a lot of issues that came up. But um, let him know what you thought about it. Uh, if you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash tcguniversity. And as always, guys, stay learned.